everything all right, sir? Yes, fine. I'm just preoccupied, that's all. Don't forget your invitation. Master Birch will be meeting you inside. Thank you. Where shall I retrieve you once you're done? In front of the Opera House. And be quick about it. Don't expect to be here long. I'll bring her round at once. Invitation, please. Shall I take your coat, sir? Gentlemen, you are requested to kindly find your seats. Good evening, sir. This way, please. Them. Reginald? I can't tell you how happy I was to hear they'd mounted this revival. Gay's best work by far. Have you seen it before? Once. My father brought me here as a child. Though I remember little of it. I don't suppose tonight will afford me the luxury of a proper viewing either. No, I'm afraid it won't. On to business then. Do you see him? The statesman, because he's so great, thinks he's trade as honest as mine. A lawyer is an honest man. He's seated in one of the boxes above. The stairs are watched. We'll need to find another way up. Both against roads and for. I already have. We should protect and encourage seats since we live by them. Sir, Black Maul, that sick word of trial, comes on in the afternoon, and she hopes you will order matters so as to bring her off. As the wench is very active... A thousand pardons. You may uh, my apologies. Tom Gag, sir, is found guilty. My lazy dog. When I took him the time before, I told him what it would come to if he did not mend his hand. This is death without reprieve. I may mention a book. Poor Tom Gag. Caught me pounds. Let Betty Sly know I'll save her from the transportation. So I can get more of my staying in. Betty has brought more goods into our lofty year than any five of the day. And in truth, it is a pity to lose so good a customer. If none of the gang take her off, she may, in the common course of business, live at 12 months longer. I love to let women stay. A good sportsman always lets us see it far through his life because the breed of the game depends on it. Besides, here the law allows us no reward. There is nothing to be got by the death of women, except our wives. Without dispute, she is a fine woman. Was to her almost alive.
repay them. You should have come to me. We would have found another way. Yes. But then you would have known. For what it's worth. I'm sorry. As am I. And how was the opera? Rather dull, truth be told. Shall we be off then? Aye. To Fleet and Bride. By your command. Gentlemen, I hold in my hand a key, and if this book is to be believed, it will open the doors of a storehouse built by those who came before. Ah, yes. Those who ruled, reigned, and vanished from the world. Do we know what it is that will be held within? It could contain certain knowledge, perhaps a weapon, or something as yet unknown, unfathomable in its construction and purpose. It could be any of these things, or none of them. They are still an enigma, these precursors. But of one thing I am certain. Whatever waits behind those doors shall prove a great boon to us all. Or our enemies, should they find it first. They won't. You've seen to that. I assume you know where this storehouse is? Ah, Mr. Harrison. Gentlemen. How fair your calculations? I believe the site lies somewhere within this region. That's a lot of ground to cover. My apologies. Were that I could be more accurate. That's all right. It suffices for a start. And that is why we've called you here, Master Kenway. We'd like for you to travel to America, locate the storehouse, and take possession of its contents. I'm yours to command. Although a job of this magnitude will require more than just myself. Of course. Upon this paper are the names of five men sympathetic to our cause. Each is also uniquely suited to aid you in your endeavor. With them at your side, you will want for nothing. Well, then I'd best be on my way. I knew our faith in you was not misplaced. We booked you passage to Boston. Your ship leaves at dawn. Go forth, Haytham, and bring honor to us all. <laughs> <laughs> 